What's up guys? So I have no idea if anybody's going to be interested in seeing this truck, but I figured I might as well show it since we're pretty proud of what we accomplished with it. So it's my dad's new dump truck. He had an old 82 GMC with a flatbed on it that dumped, but sold that and decided to upgrade a little bit. So this is his new 07 Classic 3500 Silverado. And we installed the dump bed. I'll get to that in a little bit. It's got the 6 liter. It's not a Duramax or anything. It's a really super clean truck. It's four wheel drive. Do a little walk around here. I'll explain why we can't have the bumper on there in a little bit. But like I said, it's really clean. Came out of Phoenix, Arizona originally. So if you look under here, literally not a trace of any rust anywhere and if I could show you the inner rockers up under there it's like literally brand new so really really nice clean truck not sure technically what you call it it might be an LS or just a base model might even have the work truck package. I'm not sure what you call it, but it does have power windows and locks and mirrors. It does have the uglier base model seats and the steering wheel and the rubber floor. But that does not that's not bad for a dump truck, so. It does have 173,000 miles. But like I said, it's really, really nice condition out of Phoenix. And it runs pretty good, runs and drives good, so. Not worried about the mileage. So here's the switch for the dump bed. Up is up and down is down. It's only a power up and it free fall down or whatever you call it exactly. It's the old six liter like I said. The switch is wired through the firewall and over back to the pump and then it's also wired from the pump to the battery. A little circuit breaker right there. Nothing much else to see under here. So like I said, you can't run the bumper right now. You can run the stock hitch yet, and it doesn't hit the exhaust either. We just temporarily put the license plate there until we might figure out something with the, to mess with the bumper to make the tailgate fit and dump the bed with the bumper. So, so Nothing else much really to say about the truck. So I guess we'll just go ahead and show you how it works now. It does have this plastic liner in here, which is nice. Stuff will slide out of there really easy, so. And we're basically just gonna be using this for some leaves, grass, maybe some tree branches, and maybe some gravel, a little bit of dirt, but nothing too major, so. Should work plenty good for that stuff. There you saw how it works. Pretty fast up. A little bit about the kit. It's a Pierce two-ton dump bed kit for the factory bed. Comes with pretty much everything you need. You do have to relocate this EVAP canister deal from here to back there to be out of the way of the cylinder here. You have to shorten the gas filler neck thing. So it comes with this bracket down here that mounts to the cross member there. And then another one that mounts between those two bed supports. And we put these two little bed stiffeners in there. It's just a two by two tube. And then the cylinder mounts from the other bracket to that bracket. So here's where we mounted the pump. Like I said, that's wired from there to the battery and there to the switch. And then one hydraulic line from there to the cylinder. Also you can tell how clean this truck is by the frame under here. 
This is still the original wax coating that they put on from the factory. It's all still black. Absolutely no rust under here. As you can see there, tailgate clears. But if there was a bumper on there, it would not, like I said. That's about all there is to that. Thanks for watching, guys. Let me know if you found this interesting.